Woohoo! Welcome back to VA Creative and part eight of the Ultima RS build. I'm Nigel, here's Rufus, and here's his favorite toy, Stoty Woty. Hold on, cue intro. So here we are again in the Dean Den. And first, apologies for my creative director getting in shot trying to get to Stoty Woty. Anyway, on this episode, I'm going to be focusing on the hydraulic system. Shush, 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 Rufus, shush. The hydraulic system. And what I mean by that are the brakes and the clutch. Now, the brakes in particular is a safety critical system. So therefore, I'm going to show you some tips and techniques to ensure the installation is faultless. And later on in the video, I've just taken delivery of some new parts and I'll share that with you later. So hang on in there and let's start spannering. Is that your toy? Is that Stoty Woty? Oh, I don't know. Creatives. Who needs them? It's that happy box time again. Now I need to get out of this box, clutch lines and brake lines. Here we go. Oh. oh, some AP. AP bits, well, these are actually the rear brake calipers. So we're not interested about those at the moment. So let me bring out the parts that I'm interested in. Brake lines. Clutch lines. And I think that's it. That's all I need from in here. Oh, there's lots of other nice stuff in here. Handbrake rack boots, shifter cables, steering, no, no, I can't look. I'm gonna leave those for another day. So let's see what we get in the brake line kit. Well, first of all, P-clips and rivets and washers. Nice. We also get a three-way adapter with a brake switch activated by obviously the hydraulic system. We also have another three-way adapter here. And then these here, these are the unions that go at the end of the brake lines that actually have eyes on the end. So if we pull these back here, now this is what these brake cables look like, or well, not cables, they're hoses. And they're each labeled, and they're each the exact length required to actually add them to the car. Here we go. There's another there and another here and another here and another there. So there you go. So that is the brake line kit in its entirety. And what a lot of you may be surprised about is a lot of component cars actually use rigid copper pipes to go throughout the car. Now the thing is with these flexies, what's really nice about these is they're chafe resistant because they have a stainless steel weave on them. They're also cut and terminated to exactly the right length. So you don't have the problems of trying to bend that copper, which I must say is quite challenging sometimes and very time consuming. So what we'll do is we're gonna fit that to the chassis along with the rest of the wiring. The clutch lines, So what do we have? We have our P-clips, and also in there we have a double-sided union end, and then also one long clutch cable, which is labeled accordingly. And there we go, that's as simple as that. So what we're going to do now 
is put these hydraulic hoses onto the car.
Now what you saw me doing there was using one of these red paint pens to mark every single mating point of a hose and a union or a master cylinder. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I've nipped all these unions up to the correct tightness. I can now see just by a quick glance that indeed they are all fully tightened. Also, by actually putting a red line on the union itself and also the hose, I can see just by a quick glance that for any reason they haven't come loose. It's very unlikely, but it just gives me that reassurance. And this is a common problem when people um, build kit cars because if you don't nip these up tight, it's easy to forget. And when you bleed the brakes or bleed the clutch, you will get brake fluid everywhere, which is not ideal. So those of you watching this series quite closely will remember last week I made a big deal of fitting the battery before installing hydraulic hoses. And this is the reason why. This large red cable here, this is the cable running from the battery to the starter motor. It's got to be beefy because that starter motor draws a lot of current during cranking. Now both this cable and this hydraulic hose both share the same holes for riveting the P-clips in. Now, because of that, the amount of slack you have on this cable is essential to actually reach the battery, but also not have too much slack. Hence, the battery needs fitting first. So battery in, cable bolted onto battery, and then we know this starting point is perfect. Now, there's one thing that can, you can easily do wrong when first installing these P-clips. Now, unlike the loom here that just has one P-clip, two P-clips share the same rivet. Now, this is the standard size rivet that Ultima provide, which is for the single um, P-clips, but there are also longer ones which accommodate both the clip for the starter cable and also the clip for the hydraulic cable. So we take an extra long rivet, put on the stainless steel washer, put, pop them through to the hole, get the pop rivet gun,
So here we go, I've taken delivery of my rubber and had them fitted to the beautiful 19 inch forge rims. And I must say, oh, the smell of fresh rubber in the mornings is just exquisite. Now, the tires have opted for are recommended by Ultima and they're Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, which is the optimum road tire for this machine. There is the option of going for the cup, but that is more focused on track work. And I'm, to be honest with you, I'm more of a fast road driver for this car, even though she may see a few track days here and there. So let me just show you the rear tires when they're fitted to these rims. So let me just move, these are the fronts. Ah, this over here, whoops, blimey, that's heavy. And then just pull up one of these. Wow. Now just look at that, 305 millimeter width, 19 inch diameter, 30 aspect ratio, and a speed rating of, of a Y. That should be fast enough for me, that's quick. Also, when these were fitted, opted for these beautiful stainless steel valves, and also the weights, they're just not normal weights. These are beautiful finished and shiny. Anyway, a few more episodes, I'll be fitting these to the chassis, and I tell you what, when you start fitting the boots on this car, she really starts to look mean. And on that note, I'm going to leave you for another week. I thought I'd skip the study end scene because I quite like the smell here. Anyway, until next time, happy spannering, and remember, creativity is intelligence having fun.